I'm Jamie Eason and I'm here with top plastic surgeon Dr. Michael Caravino. Hi doctor. Hi Jamie. Well I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in with this topic because it's really personal to me. I was very fortunate um, to be able to nurse my baby um, but now because of that I could only nurse on one side. I my breasts don't look the same. Um, it's kind of like you know wheels on a car they didn't all wear the same. Right. <laughs> so um, I do have a little bit of drooping sagging and um, I just would love to know what my options are and I know there's a lot of women out there who have deflated breasts, saggy breasts. Um, just what can we do about it? Well, of course, this is something we see in our practice every day, and yes, indeed, uh, pregnancy and breastfeeding can really have an effect on the breast. And what you describe is very common. We'll tend to see the breast enlarge, and then uh, as the months go on, they tend to sag worse and worse as the uh, tissue starts to uh, involute. And it's very common to have unevenness with this uh, as it? well. Very common, very oh, common. Good, that makes me feel a little less okay. abnormal. <laughs> so, one of the main things we have to determine is what's going on here. Is this a lack of volume, which perhaps could be corrected with the implants alone, or are we seeing the effects of gravity where the nipple has moved down? Uh, there's too much excess skin, okay? And then also you describe the asymmetry. We have to determine is this a difference uh, from side to side in the volume, or is it a positional difference? Okay, so there's a lot that we have to look at, and that's why we use measurements and a, a lot of uh, evaluation to decide on the best technique, because every individual is different, okay? But very commonly, in the situation like you're describing, uh, requires a combination of a breast implant and a breast lift, okay? Because implants can give volume and shape and fullness, but when there's a difference between the breasts, particularly a difference in height, we might need to move the nipple up to match. Gotcha. Okay. So, well, how safe are breast implants? I know they've, they've changed through the years. I know there were silicone saline. Right. Great, great question. Um, implants have been investigated thoroughly over the last several years, and the current implants on the market are incredibly, totally safe. Okay. In the past, there was a lot of issues with implants, but they were different. It was a thinner shell, no regulation, and in the last 20 plus years, there's been tremendous improvement. So, to answer your question, implants are safe. Okay. Now, <laughs> with any type of surgery, there are some risks. Sure. And fortunately, uh, the way that we do surgery today, in the hands of a skilled, certified plastic surgeon. Uh, breast surgery is minimally invasive. We're doing it in a very controlled setting, so the risks are, are very low. Okay. We can still see issues such as scar tissue can develop around an implant. That's one risk. Uh, the tendency for an implant to shift is another. On very, very rare instances, there could be an infection, uh, which Yikes. is potentially a, a big problem with yeah. implants. But for the most part, these problems are, are very uncommon and overall implant surgery has been uh, very uh, well received. Patients are thrilled with it and it really allows us to restore shape, fullness, confidence and uh, as long as we're making the right decisions. We want to use implants that are appropriate for your size. We want to use techniques that are appropriate for your lifestyle. Let me ask you, um, maybe a woman, might, maybe she doesn't need implants or she sure. doesn't want to get implants. Maybe it's just a lift that she needs. Um, what all is involved with that? And is that equally as risky or um, I guess any surgery is risky, right? When we're talking about uh, shaping the breast, we have to look at what we have there to, to work with. And a woman who has enough of her own breast tissue we can usually reshape and reposition that doing a lift without an implant. The purpose of an implant is if someone wants to be larger than they already are, or if they need that implant for shape and substance. The volume, okay. okay. So in many instances, we do breast lifts without implants, and it works quite well. Uh, when a patient comes in for an exam, I try to make it real clear what we can accomplish 
with an implant, what we can accomplish without, and then it becomes a personal decision. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, another question that comes to mind is a breast reduction. Some women, you know, they gain weight um, after pregnancy and they never lose weight and they end up with really heavy, saggy breasts. Right. So um, can they have a breast reduction, lift? I mean, is there a lot involved? Well, reductions are very common procedures and these are excellent procedures to get the breast lighter and back up into position. What's interesting is the lift and reduction are very similar. They're almost the same procedure, in fact, that we're moving up the nipple, tightening the skin. As we start to remove more tissue, then we consider that a breast reduction. Breast reduction is a very safe procedure, has a very high satisfaction rate, and it allows women to feel lighter, more mobile, relieves a lot of back problems. A lot imagine. of women who as the breasts start to sag, the weight of that tends to uh, really cause discomfort in the upper back and shoulder. So breast reduction is one of the happiest procedures that we have. That's great. Well, this is all such amazing information. Thank you so much. Thank you, and Jane. thank you guys for watching. If you'd like for more information, please check out thebodydoc.com.